Hey guys, what's up, Ravenhawk53? Back with another video. So today I'm going well on my streak. You know, I have a good streak. I think it's like a four day streak so far. So that's good for me. So, uh, yeah, today's like goal is again five likes. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into this tutorial. So, what I'll be showing you guys today is how to make a YouTube outro. Okay? Outro. I'm, I'm, I bet a lot of you need an outro. So, yeah, let's just get right into this. First thing you need to do is open up your picture editing software. So I have paint.net right here. Okay. And you need to go on image, canvas size. You can either make this a 1280p, you can make this 1280 by 720, or you can make this the, um, 1920 by 1080. So yeah, so then you want to use the magic wand and just delete that. Next step, what you want to do, you want to go on the internet and just get a background. So I'm, I want like a, a blue, uh, back, uh, blue grunge background, because you guys know I love the grunge background. Okay. Funny. Okay, so then you can look for a cool background. I kind of like this one. So copy, and you go into your picture editing software, control V, control V, dang it, copy, control V, and then there you go, you got your picture there. So, th so the next step after a picture, is you can even make your own picture. You can do whatever you want, you can make your own background or you can just get a picture from the internet. So the next step, what you wanna do, is you want to uh, add a new layer click on that and then you can make a box so um you can make like a, a box about like that big and you can uh, make the outline bigger so like uh, that and then you can change the color of course so something like that um make it red and then you can, uh, you know, pizzazz that up. You can uh, add a gradient or whatever. As you can see, you gotta press the uh, shift. You gotta, uh, you gotta uh, get the control, uh, the magic wand, shift, and then click on it, and then it'll have a frame like that. And you can click on gradient, and you can have a gradient. And you can get a drop shadow for it. It's gonna get like a. Like a, that color. Or I'll just make it completely black. Yeah, that looks fine. And then, uh, yeah, so you have that, and then you can. That's where you add your. Uh, so where you add your thing. Whoa, sorry. That's where you add your video. So yeah, you just wanna. Uh, you wanna get like you wanna make it that. You want to click in the inside of the box, go on the layer which has the background in it, and just press delete, and then you'll have white there, uh, or like checkerboard pattern there for where you put your uh, your uh, video. So, um, I, I don't, you can like do this step, like whenever you want, but this is just putting your name at the top or bottom. I like putting it at the top, so I'm gonna get a font that I like. So I've been using a font lately called the bold font it's this font and I'm gonna make this like 96 so Ravenhawk 53 and you can make that bigger depending on what you feel like doing so I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger yeah that that might be a little bit too big so 108 is fine for me and yeah, I just add my name. I can make that whatever color I want. Make sure to make a new layer each time you add something, okay? So add a new layer. And then you can uh, you can click on that to center it if you want. There. And actually if you press Control A and then press that, it'll put that in the middle somewhere, I guess. And then you can do whatever you want with that. I'm gonna make that a green gradient, okay? 
they, they, these colors look the same, so I'm just gonna do that. Whoops, forgot to do shift and then use the control wand, a magic wand, and then control A, and then I have that, and then I can repeat the drop shadow, and I have my name there in green, and then you could add another one of these boxes if you want. You could just press control C, control V, and you could uh, move it. You, you got another box. But I'm not going to do that because um, I usually don't. I'm not going to have two videos that I'm going to put in. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to put here is just like a Twitter and uh, Snapchat. So, you can search up a Twitter logo. Twitter logo. And then keep canvas size. Make sure to copy it. And as you can see, like Control X, new layer, Control V. Whoops. Whoops. Uh, new layer, Control V. Always remember to make a new layer before adding something new. And I'm just to this over here. Okay, and then, yeah, and then I can add text. Um, I'm gonna make that 72. I'm gonna make it, the text smaller again. At Ravenhawk53. Raven Hockle. Oh my god, this is so on paint.net is like being so annoying right now. I have no idea how to get rid of these, but how do I get rid of this? These are like not useful at all. I just use my uh thing to I guess I need to make that one side one side smaller, and then I can make this uh, that color, and then another gradient. I'm doing so many gradients this time. And repeat drop shadow for both of them. And then there's Twitter. There's uh, now I'm gonna add Snapchat. Snapchat, and then you can just uh, add a Snapchat logo, and this one looks nice, so copy and then paste it. Um, okay, so if it if it has that white stuff, use the magic wand, click on the white stuff, and then pre pre press control, click on the white stuff, and then it should all be like that. Press delete, and then it's gone, magically. And then uh, you should just, uh, you know, adjust the size about the same as the Twitter logo. Put it there, and then add the name. Okay. Uh, Snap chat. Whoops. Effects, repeat drop shadow. Okay. Repeat drop shadow. Oh, whoops. I did that twice. Yeah, that's a. That's about it. That's how you make that's how you make the picture thing okay uh, and you you could like fill up the rest if you want and file save as outro or something yes i want to save make sure you save as pdn first oops and then save as png or jpeg or whatever and then yes and then do that flatten okay the next step is you want to make sure 
your uh, video editing software can do a picture and picture. So that what that means is that uh, you, by, you can just test this by getting two pictures or two videos or something and putting them on top of each other. If you can do that, then well, you can uh, make an outro. So if I can just find it here, oh, outro. All right, copy it there, close that. Okay, so you can get your outro. Okay, whatever, you have it right there. And don't worry, the black is supposed to be there. Okay, next step is um, just get like your last video or something. And then untitled, uh, open. Okay, and then it'll be right there. And as you can see, it's overlapping. So make sure it's in the box mm -hmm. like that. Another way you can make sure this happens is putting your video file behind the, uh, you know, behind the uh, outro. So then you can just click on that, adjust it. To like whatever you want, you can do that. You do that, you know. And then you can get like a certain part of the video that like you really like. Uh, it's really that's good. So like uh, this part. Control mm. X, delete the rest. Control V, and get and like you can uh, do that. Uh, turn off the audio of that, and then. You can like make this at least like 10 seconds long or something like that. Or like f 5 to 10 seconds is usually good. So I'm going to make this 10 seconds. Make this the same. And then go on the internet, find some music. I already have some music for the outro. Uh, where is it? Outro song. It's labeled too. I used to have an out. I used to use like a outro, but that was like Minecraft and that was pretty bad. So yeah, and then you got your outro, you crazy outro song. I'm just gonna get a part that's good. So this part, control, control X, delete, control V, and then bring that there. Make that smaller, and then there you go. You got an outro. I like the yeah. And you can also like make it fade out so you can go transition and then, uh, fade through black and then fade through black and for the outro song you can make that fade out so yeah just do that and there you go you got your outro right there so um, that's pretty much how you make an outro. So guys, if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, I'll be jumping to the next one. I also want to subscribe. So uh, yeah, bye.